اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Cron batch alpha. In this session we are going to talk about Cron batches alpha and how it can be used to assess the reliability of a construct. Now in our studies what we normally have we've got a latent variable that is measured using multiple items. So if I am interested in measuring organizational commitment I might ask my respondents four, five, six questions. Now if I want to assess whether those measures are reliable, I have to use a particular statistic. In this case, we are going to focus on cron batch alpha. There are other statistics as well and we will talk about them later. Now what is a reliability? Reliability is a measure of consistency or stability of a test or measurement. In this case, measurement means the items that are used to assess a particular construct and the items to which the respondent responds based on choosing the options that are provided. It refers to the extent to which a test or measurement produces the same results over time under different conditions or when administered by different people. Now, for example, I'm measuring organizational commitment or organizational performance using four or five items. Now, what do I mean by these items? Let's say if I'm interested in measuring organizational commitment, my first question could be, I love my job. So a particular respondent responds to this statement by selecting the option. It could be from strongly disagree to strongly agree. The second question is, I believe in my organization and I I will have the same response scale. The third question is, I like to or tell people that I love my job. This is the third question. The fourth question could be, I am not looking for another job. Now these four questions are measuring organizational commitment. Now this measurement would be reliable if it produces same results over time, that is when it is used at, in different time periods, under different conditions and when administered to different people. Now reliability is an important consideration when assessing the quality of a test or measurement. The most common method is internal consistency reliability. Now this is a measure of consistency of a test within itself. It is calculated by comparing the scores of different items on the test. And the most common one is cron batch alpha. A test of measurement is considered reliable if it produces consistent results over time under different conditions or when administered to different people as we described earlier. Now reliability is often considered an important characteristic of a test or measurement as it is necessary but not sufficient condition for a test to be considered valid. Now there is a difference between reliability and validity. A particular measure can be reliable but not valid. Now let us perform cron batch alpha in R. Now here is my R studio and the R script to assess a cron batch alpha in R. So step one, you get your data. Again, the data is stored in an object. I've named it data S, you can change the name. Then this sign here. So it is nothing just less than and a dash sign like this, less than and a dash sign, a negative sign. Now read dot CSV function is called. The file is identified data dot CSV. It's in the same folder as my R script header and the separator. So once you save it, if you save it in the same folder as your data file, you do not need to write the full path. Otherwise you will need to write the full path. Now this is head. If you want to check whether the data has loaded properly, just run it. And yes, the data is all good. Now you need the psych function to get your alpha results. So if, you, if it is not installed, use this command to install it. Otherwise you can go to tools, 
install packages and here write in psych and you can simply click and install it now once it's installed you need to call it so how do you call a function library parenthesis and in the parenthesis you write in the package now i want alpha i want alpha for my data which is this now since it's a latent variable, latent unobserved variable that is measured using five items, that is my organizational performance scale is measured using five items. Now, since they are multiple items, so I'm going to create an array or vector C parenthesis open the five items that define or measure the latent variable parenthesis close, then square brackets, obviously comma, the C, and then as we go along, the data the square bracket will close and then the last parenthesis will close here for the alpha function and you store the results in alpha underscore result object now you can display all the results in the alpha result object using this simple just write up but this will give you too many results so i would just want to be very specific so let's run it like this here now Okay, it is running the install package as well. I do not need the install package. And now I want to have my alpha results. So I'm just going to use the print function, parenthesis open, and the results are in alpha underscore result, then the dollar sign and within alpha underscore result object, the results are in total. You can call it a sub object, run, and here are your alpha results the raw alpha the standardized alpha and all other details now we normally go for standardized alpha and what do all these values mean let's have a look at it so alpha function includes several statistics and that provide information about the reliability now raw alpha this is the raw cron batch alpha coefficient and it ranges from 0 to 1 with higher value indicating higher internal consistency standardized alpha this is the standardized alpha coefficient which is corrected for the number of items in the scale now the alpha you see in spss is also standardized alpha g6 smc this is the guilford benjamin modification of alpha coefficient which is corrected for the number of items in the scale it is obviously from 0 to 1 but for now we are just interested in standardized alpha the average r is the inter item correlation and it ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 with values closer to 1 either minus or plus indicating high correlation now signal to noise ratio which is a measure of ratio of true score of variance to error variance now it ranges from 0 to infinity with higher values indicating a higher level of internal consistency now there are some other statistics as well now this is mean score the standard deviation the median obviously with minus one to one and values closer to one indicating higher correlation among the items that is the median r now what are the range of alpha values that are acceptable now there are different opinions about it i've got some here nunnally suggests that an alpha value of 0 0.70 or higher is generally considered acceptable. George and Mallory 2003 suggest 0 0.60 or higher. And here and others suggest 0 0.70 uh, which is considered acceptable, 0 0.80 considered good and 0 0.90 is considered very good. So normally if it is over 0 0.70 you can say your construct or the measure is reliable. Now, how do we improve our cron batch alpha in R? Let's have a look. Now, to improve and find out how we can improve it, we are going to use the same print function. The results are stored in this object, alpha underscore result, then the dollar sign, and I need alpha dot drop statistics. So, just run it, and here it is. Now, if you look here, if you remove OP1, your standard alpha will be 0.913, which was previously 0.912. So there is not much change. Although if you remove all the other items, each one of them will decrease the value of standardized alpha. Now, 
we do not drop items if the alpha value is already over 0 0.70 or the required limit. In this case, there is no need to remove or delete anything because the alpha is already acceptable or we can say it's very good. You do not need to remove anything from your results. But what it tells you that if you remove OP1, this is the alpha. If you remove OP2, what will happen to alpha? It will drop down to 0.878 and similarly all the other values as well if op2 is removed these are the other values now in this case we do not need to remove anything your alpha is good enough now again the same thing you use alpha dot drop and how do you use it simply let's go back again the alpha object dollar sign alpha dot drop from the alpha results So we've discussed all, all of this. Now it is important to note that removing items from the scale may not be the best course of action. It is important to consider the implications of dropping items. Do not just go on and delete items. Make sure you see how it affects the content validity. Now how do you report cron batch alpha results? Here is an example. Now before this, just make sure that if you've got multiple variables or latent variables in your study and that is obviously will be the case, you do cron batch alpha calculation for each latent variable separately. The five item organizational performance scale was used to measure the performance of the organizations and the scale consisted of five items and here is an example and was administered to these this many people. The cron batch alpha was this 0.912 indicating high level of internal consistency. So this is how you can report your cron batch alpha for a particular construct. Thank you very much.